Thanks for joining us on HTSN. I'm Storm Team 6 meteorologist Kyle Mounts. We had another clipper move through on Tuesday afternoon, brought a light dusting of snow to much of central Indiana, and that's the last one we're going to see for a little bit. In fact, as we go through the rest of your evening, we'll start to see those clouds moving out as well. 23 degrees force at 7 o'clock will fall through the lower 20s with those mostly clear skies at 11 and maybe a little bit of patchy fog, but I don't think it'll be quite the concern as to what we had earlier in the day. 16 degrees for the overnight low. Winds will stay up around 10 miles per hour, so that's one thing that will help keep that fog from really developing. Then on your Wednesday, the sun is going to make a return appearance. It's been a few days since we've seen that. It will, however, be a cold morning. 18 degrees for us at 8 o'clock. Winds won't be too bad, not too breezy for us. So south at 5 to 10 miles per hour, 29 at noon. That will help to take temperatures around and just above freezing. So we'll start to melt some of that snowpack. 34 degrees by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then we'll stay with partly cloudy skies. 33 by 7 as we'll actually start to see some warmer air moving into the state. 32 degrees for your Wednesday afternoon in Muncie. We'll actually see a good spread in temperatures as that warmer air starts to move in from the southwest. Terre Haute makes it up to 37 degrees, 38 for us in Bloomington, and again 36 there in Greensburg. So we've had this really cold air over the Midwest, the Ohio Valley. There's been mild air sitting off to the south. Finally, we're going to start to see the mild air kick in here. The cold air is going to get lodged up across the northern plain states, and what that means for us, our high temperatures over the next several days, well, 33, 34 degrees or so on. On Wednesday, and then we'll see those numbers approaching 50 by Friday afternoon into the mid 40s on Saturday. Here's your seven day planning forecast. It does turn active by Thursday night. We start to see some rain move in, and it looks like the warmer air will win out. That brings us lots of rain on Friday and Saturday. Some areas could pick up more than two inches of rain as we go through the weekend. And then as some of that colder air starts to move in on Sunday, rain changes to some snow as the system moves out. Then much colder to start off early next week with highs once again only in the 20s.